Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the new mods for March 8th of 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to the mod review for today. So I'm not going to put any timestamps up on the screen just because there's only really two categories. We don't have any uh, machinery today. We just have a couple pieces of equipment and a lot of sheds and placeables type stuff. So we should be able to knock it out pretty quickly, but we are going to start with the updates as we always do. So again, I'm just going to put the updates on the screen. I'm going to read off what the updates are. I'm not going to read the change logs. If you'd like to read the change logs, feel free to pause the video so you can do so. So, updates 1 through 4 today, we have placeable US speed limit signs by Ninja Kurt, update to the stubble cultivator by Yumi, uh, progressive steering by Baron of Modding, and Ravensburg by Top Ace 888 and then we also have updates to the Kaltimer uh, L300 D Limby by Fred Modding, an update to the Labyrinth Pack by Bart's, Bartso NV3, an update to the placeable walls pack by Mappers Paradise, also an update to the Sovznoka uh, chicken pen by Adeb Modding AD ABP team. Continuing from there, we also have updates to the KUHN Interactive Sprayers by TF2020 Mods, an update to the Hardy Interactive Sprayers by TF2020 Mods, an update to the HS10.5 Tank Trailers by TF2020 Mods, and an update to the Fill Trigger Conveyor Belts by TF2020 Mods. And continuing from, oh, nope, I put the other ones back on, there we go. Continuing from there, we have updates to uh, Meat Cump by Richie F, update to the Lizard D83 Pack by uh, Castian18 and the Fleur King. Uh, we also have an update to the CCT uh, 2700 by GDB and the Bergman TSW 7340S by Nico Pix. Um, in addition to that, we also have a new map which was released on Saturday. Um, I'll be doing a mod review or map tour of this uh, today, so stay tuned to the channel for that. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and jump into the rest of the new mods for today. All right, and first up, we have the self-made weight pack by uh, Pix by Richie. This is 6.51 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. If we go into the store, these are going to be found. If we go under here, under weights, here we are, all the way down to the very end. Now, again, it's another weight pack, but there's some cool stuff to these. Um, so um, I have a couple out here. The first one I have out here is this guy right here. So what I love is look at the detail on that. I just love that it's kind of etched into it if you will um you can change the design color to anything on there if you'd like or you know something more crazy or more obvious however you want to do it attachers can have standard or you can have trailer hitch so you can add a trailer hitch onto there which i think is a wonderful feature now we also have the 1100 kilogram weight here which this is also pretty cool so we can do 10 signs no or we can do case uh dwight's far vent john deere valtra and then no so those things look pretty cool <laughs> i just think they look awesome they're there you can tell they got a little bit of 3d texture to them so those things are pretty sweet the little metal things on there attachers you can have hitch or none and then you can also adjust the main color to anything on that palette there so there you have it and then finally this is one i didn't put out um this one just is really just kind of a weight but um design color you can change it to anything on there and we'll go over the design in a second uh, main color you can change it to anything on there let's do there that'll work that's fine uh design Warning stripes, warning signs, warning stripes and signs, and nothing. So, and if we go to this, the design color is going to change that warning stripe. So, you have that option there. But there you go. Self made weights. They look pretty nice. Again, I love the way these look. I have super strength on. It's the only way I'm able to lift that. So, just be aware of that. But uh, yeah, they look really cool. I think they look awesome. So, there you go. That is the self made weight pack by Pix by Retchy. Next up, we have the Metal Tech IT47 Custom. This is by GTX. This is 4.38 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. Uh, this does require the IT Runner Pack um, from Giants or some other IT Runner Pack that it'll work with. This is found in the store under auger wagons. This is essentially just an IT back auger wagon, which is pretty cool, and it holds some extra stuff in there. Not, not everything that a bulk trailer holds, but it does do more than just what... Um, this is what your, your regular trailer will hold. So normally these guys only go up to fertilizer. This guy also is going to do TMR, uh, chaff, wood chips, silage, uh, and lime as well without even the lime auger wagon mod. So that thing's pretty cool. Um, it's 56,000 to buy, holds 47,000 liters, and then it hooks up to an IT runner. So if we go into here, I can do yes or no on the cover, and then I can adjust the main color to anything on there and the design color to anything on there, which the design color looks like it's, is it that stuff down at the bottom? Oh, I bet you it's the cover. Yep, there we go. There you have it. That is the IT-47. If we hop into the tractor here, make sure I have it selected. And to open the cover, 
Open up the menu there. Oh, to put the pipe out, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it with just anything. Um, we'll do, we'll do silage, that'll be fine. So there you go. Exit drop off the container if you want to. I'm not gonna drop it off. It does sit on the ground just fine, just a little bit angled up, but it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, left control I to unload here. It's checking out pretty far. Um, I can also adjust the pipe down like that. I can also adjust, let's see what this does. Side to side, there we go, that's the actual, you can see the pickup there, The that's gonna adjust up and down. So there you go, that is the Metaltech IT47 Custom. Next up, we have the Metalfec uh, U457. This is by the Florky and Chardy. This is 9.69 megabytes to download. This is for PC and Mac players only. Found in the store under cultivators. All the way down at the end here. Right here, three meter cultivator. Runs at nine miles per hour. Uh, 120 horsepower required. If I go into here, there is a little bit of customization we can do so we can do without or tracked uh, eradicator. So I have the tracked eradicators on mine. You can see them up front there. But if we hop in, now what I love is, you see how it kind of just adjusts as it needs to, which is pretty sweet. So uh, V to lower it down. You can hire a worker to do it if you want to. And it does cultivate. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. V to lift it up. There's no folding it. That is what it is. It's gonna be out like that. But again, at three meters, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. But there you guys go. That is the Metal Fec U457, if I could learn to talk. But there you guys go. All right, next up, we have the Robert DBS pack. This is by Palo uh, 5090R. This is 65.43 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. So this is found, these are all found under weeders. Uh, they do some different stuff, though. I have three of the four out here. We'll take a look at them in the store. Uh, so again, under weeders, we scroll over here. Here they are. These are the ones we get. Um, so the first one here, 140 horsepower required, uh, 9.6 meter working width, runs at 7 miles per hour. It says weeders will pull out small... Uh, Grown weeds between crops and improving the yield. Um, they can only be used in the first stages. Okay, makes sense. This one now is essentially the same thing as this one, except now I can plant grass. If I wanted to plant grass while I go about it. Um, now it does, they both run at the same speed, 9.6, both 140, yep. And then we have these guys, which are a little bit smaller, 7.2 meters, seven miles per hour. Um, now this guy's the only one I don't have out. Um, it's just this guy without seeding, um, but we'll take a look at a couple of things in here. I'm not sure about this one, what it's gonna do. Uh, but I know what these three are going to do, and I'm pretty sure I know what that one's going to do based on that. But we'll go over that in a second. 7.2 meters, 7 miles per hour. Now, if I go into the store, um, we have without options, third row of teeth. This one has without options or third row of teeth. This one has without options, signaling, third row of teeth, and signaling, and third row of teeth. So it adds these little signs in the back. And this one has those same options for signaling, third row of teeth, and um third row of teeth and signaling. So there you go, if we hop out of there. Uh, so this one right here, obviously there's no weeds in this field, but if I look at the map in here, I can see there's no fertilizer really out here. There's a couple fertilizer lines for me testing this. So you probably already know where this is going, but there's no, there's a B to turn it on if I wanna do that. So if I, I do that, there we go. B to turn it on, V to lower it down, and it does its thing. Now if I hit, to turn it off it doesn't do anything it just is going about its business uh so there you go now if i look in here it did fertilize that added one fertilizer state let's go hop into the next one here to take a look at it x to unfold it b to lower it down and this one is doing something without it being on it does have oh i guess it turned itself on never mind so it's supposed to be on so there you go Oh gosh, there we go. It's doing its thing. If we look in here, it is fertilizing. Now, we hop in this guy right here. Unfold this. Now you'd see, you see the kind of path here. So it's not a direct drill. It's not gonna see grass everywhere, but it will see grass in these areas that have been cultivated kind of randomly here uh, from previous mod reviews. So once it gets unfolded here, V to lower it down, V to turn it on, and you can see it's it's planting on there, but it's not planting the areas that don't have a cultivated ground state. Lift it up, turn it off. But now if I go into the, and this also an open cover to open the, the seed cover there, which I think is pretty sweet. 
but there you go just another side note on that um, this adds two layers of fertilizer so you're good to go once you get that put in um, yeah which i think is interesting so this this field didn't have anything and now it has two layers of fertilizer but there you go that's the dbs robert uh, or the robert dbs pack there so yeah all right, next up, we have the WM185 mower. This is by uh, AAA Modding. This is 3.75 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is going to be found in the store under mowers. If we go down to the very end here. Ooh, there we go. Uh, this guy right here, WM185, 8,500 to buy, 13 miles per hour, which is, yeah, it's standard there. Uh, 1.9 meter working width, requires 26 horsepower. If I go into here, I have the WM185, or I can do the RK185 which just change it to those color configurations there. But otherwise it seems to be the same. Hop in it. X to unfold it. Wait for it to unfold and then V to lower it down, V to turn it on. And it is mowing as it should. You're running at 13 miles per hour. So everything seems to be doing good. You can hire a worker if you have a field but there you go. And that is the WM185 mower. All right, next up, I have the Finnish Classic Hats. This is by Tico and Farmar uh, i99. This is 0.62 megabytes to download, and this is for PC and Mac players only. Uh, so this says you can now be a true Finnish farmer uh, straight from the 70s with this legendary orange, uh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce it, something cap. Um, the pack also includes the following caps, Valmet Red, Valmet Brown, and Zeter. Uh, they are fully compatible with the other hat script mods out there. Controls, you can change the hat inside the farmhouse by selecting category, uh, game originals, and classic Finnish hats, and then selecting a hat with keys one and two. So we should be able to go into a farmhouse. Theoretically. Oh, that's where the sleep trigger is. <laughs> I'll see if it lets me do it here. Let me see. You can change the hat inside farmhouses or find farmhouse by selecting category game originals and classic. Huh. I'm not sure if I know how. Yeah, it's still kept my same hat. Hmm. Maybe we have to use a different farmhouse. We could try that. The base game farmhouse. Oh, that wasn't where I wanted to put that, but let's, yeah, let's not put that there. Well, that one's stuck there, but we'll put this guy over here. All right, let's try this in here. Oh, there we go. Hat John Deere. Oh, there we go. See? One, two. I wonder if that's, will that not work over here? Oh, there we go. I'm getting it now. Uh, Jen's JCB. Okay, let's go. It's not letting me go up, but it'll let me go down, which I guess is fine. Let's see. Um, but it just let me change it, which is pretty sweet. So, no hat. Um, and I can't go back up now. It's not letting me go back up. Let's try over this house. Oh. Uh, Oh, now let me go back up. Oh, three, four for originals. So we can go. Oh, finish hats. There we go. Okay. At one. Still let, not letting me change it, but hey, we can take a look at this one hat. There you go. <laughs> I love it. There you have it. But uh, yeah, so this seems like maybe it could be something I'm doing wrong too, but uh, I'm having a little bit of issues hitting one and two. It's not letting me adjust that at all. Uh, three and four seems to work fine, but if I go back to the original hats, um, it's not letting me go up at all, which is a bit concerning. So anyhow, there you go. That is the uh, finished hat, classic hats. Uh, pretty nifty mod. It might just need a quick update, but there you go. All right, next up, we have the Child's Mechanic Shop. This is by Grassland Mods. This is 0 0.70 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. This is found in the store under miscellaneous for replaceables. Child's Mechanic Shop. You can configure vehicles here. It's $45 uh, to purchase and there's no uh, daily upkeep. So yeah, you can go up here. And if you wanted to use that to configure your vehicles, you can do so. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> there you go, the Child's Mechanic Shop. All right, next up, we have the rusty looking multi-fruit silos. This is by Kaz64 and Old Aussie Gamer. This is 2.64 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. These are found in the store under silos. I scroll across to the end here. We have the grain silo, 100,000 liters. It holds everything in there, so multi-fruit silo, $45 a day. 
Large grain silo, 160,000 to buy, 200,000 liters holds everything in there, $60 a day. Large silo extension, $100,000 or 100,000 liters extra, 80,000 to buy, $25 a day holds everything. So there you go. It look quite nice. That's the out point there, end point there. This one's right over top of it, but that's the out point, end point there. Really good detail on those. I think that's awesome. Those would be fantastic for some role play or something like that. But there you go. Those are the rusty looking multi fruit silos. Next up, we have the placeable high seat. This is by Lulsu Modding. This is 1.11 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. Um, this is found in the store under, oh, was it decoration? I think it was decoration. Yeah, there we go, 850 to buy. Uh, no daily maintenance cost for you. So I don't, um, is there any clicking I can do to do anything here? No, it does not appear so. Um, but yeah, you can, I maybe you can't. <laughs> you can pretend like you're in here. <laughs> But there you go. You have the placeable high seat. I'm not sure why we need it, but there you go. All right, and now off to the 15 different sheds we have. We don't actually have that many, but we have a lot of sheds today. All right, so this is the big barn. This is by QWERTY PL and Maddox332. 3.96 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. Found in the store under placeables, under sheds. Here is the big barn. It is $50,000 to buy, $25 a day in maintenance. And I'll open up the help menu there. But this stuff should all open up for us. No problems. That third door will open as well. Looks like a little bulk air, which I actually like that quite a bit. Lights on. There you go. Yeah, I think it's a pretty cool looking shed, actually. I like that. Or big barn, I guess I should say. Big barn. It's not a shed. It's a big barn, but it's a shed. <laughs> but there we go. I like that one. Notice how the doors do cover over like that, so just be careful of that. If you're doing various things. That one opens that way. That makes sense. That's perfect. But there you go, that is the big barn. Next up, we have this small garage with shelter. This is by Bartso NV3, 5.44 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. If we go into the store, this can be found under sheds. We scroll across, um, let's see if I can find it in here. Here, right here, small shelter or small garage with shelter, 13,000 to buy, um, $5 a day in maintenance. So we go ahead and let's open up the help menu there. Take a look at it, a little shelter on this side, open it up. Now, I want to see what these guys are here, which I think they're oh, they're the high decoration triggers, and that's the light one. Oh, I love it when they do that. It just makes it easier. I mean, yeah, the hazards don't look great on the floor, but at the same time, just being able to find triggers for that stuff is, is awesome. So, yeah, that's not bad. I like that. I do like that ability to hide that stuff because a lot of people don't like that stuff in there. So it gives you kind of the role play aspect, and then you can get it all cleared out or however you want to do it. But there you go. That is the small garage with shelter. Next up, we have the old European style storage barn. This is by Black Sheep Modding. This is 3.89 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms found in the store under sheds. We stroll across, and I'll be honest too, I know I sounded very negative about all the uh, sheds earlier, but I actually like getting a lot of shed mods because I think it. I think sheds are one thing that you could really in the real world build any way you want. So I like having as many options as possible. So sorry, I don't mean to complain. I'm actually pretty happy about getting lots of sheds. But here we go, old European style storage barn, 16,000 to buy, $10 a day maintenance. We take a look at it here. I can open up my help menu to make sure we don't miss anything. Open the gate up, little center storage area up there, or in, in there, and then up here we have a little hayloft if I could. Oh, there we go, climb the ladder up there. Can I move this stuff? No, it doesn't look like it, but there you go. Where's that? What's that up there? Oh, someone left some oil up there. That's definitely something that happens in like sheds and barns and on walls and stuff. They just, people just leave stuff there. <laughs> definitely happens. Uh, light switch. Ooh, that's a cool light switch. I haven't seen that one before. And it looks like it's for the whole thing. Okay. Yep, that's for the whole thing. Awesome. Nice little decorative barn here. We're on the back. The texture looks okay. I think it's uh, from a distance, it's like, okay, that looks great, but then you get close to it, it looks a little harsh, maybe a little bit harder than your eyes, but I do like the uh, sunroofs on there, so a few cool textures and features and whatnot, but yeah, I think if they just crisp up those textures, it'd be a lot better, but there you go. That is the old European-style storage barn. Next up, we have the Polish Garages. These are by Aerionek. This is uh, 6.80 megabytes to download, and these are for all platforms. If we go in the store, these are found in the sheds. Down over here, we have uh, Polish Garage and Old Polish Garage. These are the two we have out in front of us. Uh, oop, I guess I should talk about prices maybe a little bit for those, huh? Uh, the Polish Garage, which is on the left outside, the, the big one, is 25000 to buy, $18 a day maintenance, and the small one on the right, 6000 to buy, $9 a day in maintenance. So let's go ahead and open up the help menu. 
So I got a light switch right off the pack, right, right off the bat, right out there. Open this guy up. Go into here. Nice open space in there. Looks nice and crisp and clean in there. That's for sure. Open this up. Be nice if we could hide these, but we do have a nice little area in there. Yeah, a lot of good detail on that. I like that. There you go. Next up, we have this one. Open up the doors here. Take a look on the inside. And then we also have, looks like a light switch there. Little repair area here, or some tools there. Look, can we grab that? Oh, I just threw it, so yes. <laughs> can I go through here? Yeah, go through there much easier. Uh, so you can grab the stuff and throw it. There you go. <laughs> uh, that is the Polish garages right there for you, folks. Next up is the Belgium Shed. This is by Remakers. This is 3.14 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is me found in the store under the sheds where we are here we are uh belgium shed 27,000 to buy 20 dollars a day maintenance if we take a look at it here i'll open up the help menu open that up we got light switch in here nice big open shed there you go i don't think there's anything else going on with it but yeah big open shed I like the nice design for it but there you go that is the belgium shed Next up, and our final mod for the day, is the Lizard Shed with Gates. This is by Cooper 3D Agrar Modding. This is 10.03 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. If we go in the store, we found under Sheds, and right here, System Shed with Gates, 40000 to buy, $20 a day in maintenance. So if I go ahead and open this up, open this guys up, which is actually kind of a cool shed. I would like some bigger doors, but other than that, I think it's fantastic, and that might just be part of the challenge and part of the fun of the shed. So there you go. Do you have a light switch there? Good looking building though. I like that in here. Good detail on there. Around the outside of the building. Got like good detail. Windows and what have you. Sunroofs inside look nice, but there you go. That is the Lizard Shed with Gates. And that is the end of the mod review for today, folks. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. Uh, go ahead and hit that join button as well so you can get some bonus and exclusive content. But without further ado, this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.